Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Copy Rose, not Copy Rose, Age of Empires 3 replay. Spot on bottom left side as the red US of A, we have Stunj Spawn as the blue Aztecs of Bay May. Or Bay E May. I have no idea. Bay E May? Bay E May. Bay May? I question myself too much when it comes to names. No, neither side selected a deck just yet. When it comes to names of map, we've got the House of Wilton Bach, which can give you access to some Mountain Troopers, Shovel Lugers, and more Mountain Troopers. But me. And we do have a deck selected by the Aztec player, the number two deck. Villagers, High Priest of Zilton, or however you pronounce that, Religious Unity, Villagers. Wood, Infinite Coin, Warrior Priest, Coyote Runners, Pumas, Puma Spearmen, Ultimate Slingers, War Huts, Mine Allies, Renegade Spanish, Jaguar Prowl Knight, Strike or Knight Attack, Knight Hit Points, Citadel, Aztec Mining, Temple of uh, Arrow Temple, Coyote Run Temple, Villager Temple, Jaguar Prowl Knight tem Temple, Eco Runner Knight Temple. Scorched Earth and the Zapatok allies. And for the F US player, he's bringing the French immigrants, which give him access to three French villagers. He has access to Spanish immigrants, Woodwood Coin, Regulars, State Militia, Long Rifles, Springfield Armory, Hamilton Economics, Virginia General Assembly, Seminole Scouts, Russian American Company, Wood Coin, Regulars, United States Army, 54th Massachusetts Volunteers. United States Marines, Rolling Artillery, Pulsglaze Legion. He is hitting the bear. Bear is trying to hit the Eagle Scout and a bit poor control there. Now the bear is engaged with the War Chief. So a little bit of wood there. Dissemble the treasure chest for wood. And the US deck is called Rush. Hmm, wonder what's gonna be Russian. Rushing the Russians? Either way, we do now have red. Red does fine, Buck. Buck is a good boy, and the general will pick up the treasure chest. Orson Candle Brums worth 50 coin. Should be enough for his hunting doggos. Now is aging up with the with Pennsylvania. House here. Another shipment available. He could eye for the uh, expansion immigrants. Again, the experience trickle as well as the living outpost wagon. And give him the pikeman levy. Pikeman, of course, don't degrade over time. Now bring in the Spanish immigrants. Now, I wonder if the, he's going to place that outpost more aggressively or more passively. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Rotting Musketeer, taking some damage. Does get bitten to death. Let's take keep an eye on this outpost wagon. He says hello. Everybody say hi back. Orders. Go build right there. Now I got the War Hut Travis there. Blue may spot this. Does spot it there. He doesn't have a good amount of siege damage in this region. I got the barracks on the plotted field. Buck is here. We got two witch hunters, so you can perhaps uh, snipe them. Barracks take some damage. Maybe an idea to torch down the outpost. State militia now being brought on in, which are a skirmisher variant. And there's the pikemen. Pikemen do offer good siege damage. 
Jaguar Prowl Knights are heavy infantry, and they will, do, and they do bonus damage to heavy infantry, so they will rip apart these pikemen, no problem. Yep, and there's going to be a lot of efficacy for those uh, Jaguar Prowl Knights. We also kept the Warrior Priest here, which does offer some good healing. Ghost is going to be sending the war, uh, Warrior Priest to the Community Plaza now. They didn't use Snipe on the Witch Hunters. There's State Militia. The Militia being a skirmish variant, they should do opponent save versus the Pumba Spearman and the Jaguar Prowl Knights. Both of which have great siege damage. There's our round of um, regulars. Bring in the Philadelphia Convention, which gave one beating house wagon. Outposting some damage. Skirmisher or Slinger does go down. He's a perhaps there goes the outpost. Yeah, a lot of extra experience there. Puma Spearman can be somewhat ignored. He does focus on the Dragon Prowl Knights, who are much more scary. And plus, we've got some Coyote Runners mixed on in. The regulars should focus those guys down. Let's get one of the Coyote Runners now. We've also got the Inspiring Flag here still up. Another round of regulars. Uh, Spanish players bring the Rodeallos. Which I don't think would be great right now. I don't really think it's a real good time for Rodeallos. They offer high mobility for a heavy infantry, but overall they're not really that great. Even in melee, musketeer units tend to beat them in melee. I think it would have been better to go for the Mayan allies. Also bring a shipment of Puma Spearmen. War Chief started going down. He may want to keep it back so he can get access to that experience aura. And there's Rodeallos. They offer 11 damage and 10 siege damage. And 40 melee resist. So their melee resist is pretty good, but in comparison to regular. Regulars have higher DPS and melee. And so have probably the same amount of bulk soul. More health, less melee resistance though. Bring a round of Puma Spearman shipment. Get some really good siege damage going. Too far forward there. Let's have around a militia to pull it on in as well. A minute, men. General taking some damage there. Slinger's taking some damage first. Rodeallo is pushing the way forward. And red is getting hit quite significantly. Guardiola's Puma Spear and some slices on in. Another round of regulars. Some of Red's villagers are getting pushed forward. It's not great. Yeah, so a handful of villagers right here. They may have the Second Amendment, but they aren't very good at the Second Amendment. This player has another Shim available, low on all resources. He may just want to go for a Shim of resources this moment of time. As I play, just building up more forces. Boom, <clears throat> a spearman on the build queue. Yes, player is going for more villagers. He's trying to go for Seminole Scouts. I don't think that's a great idea. I think he should have gone for resources. 
And now he has fighting against good number of Holcomb Javaliers, Rodeallos, Puma Spearmen, and Slingers. More state militia would be a good idea at the moment. Which I suppose those Seminole Scouts do offer other light infantry as well. Another shipment's available. Seminole Scouts still pretty far away. Rodeallos being gunned on down. Villagers do get a good volley there. Seminole scouts almost deployed on the field. That will greatly help them out. They have 60 damage and also pretty good attack speed, actually. All the Rodeallos, Puma Spear, and close on in. Some are starting to go on down. Villagers push way forward. They're getting ripped apart as well. Another round of militia. I want to make sure there's only three villagers inside there. Maybe try some villagers onto this coin deposit or something. Something's better than nothing. Yes, has 17 villagers idle out of 18. And his opponent has 35. So right now, Dazakla has great economy. He will be forced on back there. Red does have decent force here. Oh, yes. Hamilton Economics now being deployed on out. Asset player almost has another shipment available. Going for a shipment of coin. Oh, we got the several scouts camouflaged. Market going on up to make use of the Hamilton economics. Scam uh, Seminole scouts. One does get spotted there. The rest of them are getting uncamouflaged as well. Coyote runners call up on custom issues for the like Seminole scouts. They're being focused on by the Coyote runners. Carry runners need to be focused down so those other units can engage more properly. As well as minute men are starting to get killed off as well. Red has a very small army of five units. Blue has some army. Not as big as it was, but still plenty enough. Hunting dogs now, as well as some other upgrades. More regulars. I hope and keep him regulated. Iron is moving around the flank. His villagers oh, are most on the side here. At 21 versus 39. Warchief has been brought back up. He made someone have him run away. Keeping him alive is very useful for the experience aura. Another round of Seminole Scouts. More slings of own will be very useful. Now got a round of the Spanish Pikemen. They offer good torch damage. Regular is going down to the Slingers. Oh, Slingers offer 16 damage, 16 range. Slingers do offer 8 damage. So these shark tooth bowmen are have high twice DPS. And they cost 100 while slingers are technically 70. Carriers to pull on the field, trying to engage those shark to bowmen. So I'm going to focus down those pikemen. 
I can do bonus damage just hand shot or skirmisher or singers here. So the spearmen being cleaned on up. Here comes Kyrie Runners, so we'll only one the pikemen remain. Another round of regulars. So trying to close on in onto the bowmen. Slinger skis good damage on the regulars. <clears throat> More Rodeallos being pulled on the field. They will be countered by the bowmen, but they do manage to close the distance. And looks like Red does cast in GG. Blue casting the uh, GG return. More Puma Spearmen, more Slingers. And. Hmm. Is Red just gonna go idle? I'm not sure what's going on. He is building villagers. He has two shipments available. Now does back up the game. This angry saying, "Think of watching and on to the next replay."